YouTube, what's up, man? I just want to go over my team, show you guys what I'm working with before we get into this gameplay. And, and it's pretty much similar to the way it was the last video against Problem, but I'm still rocking Patrick Mahomes, got Barkley. I have Marcus Allen. I use him at tight end. If you want to learn how to put him at tight end wide receiver position in this cluster, head over to madinturf.com. Or you can hit the sub on my stream. All my subs, I have a Wednesday night. We're going to do sub-only streams. That way you guys can ask me questions about Madden, things that help you get better at the game. You can check that out at twitch.tv. That, that link is below. Go we'll check that out. But I am rocking Mahomes. I am rocking Tyreek Hill, uh, Torrey Holt, and Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison, Torrey Holt, probably the best receivers in the game right now. Fully maxed out. And I have, and I have Sprinter. So these guys are sitting at 91 speed. That's why I choose to use those guys. Uh, they're the fastest in the game. I have slot apprenticeship on Marvin Harrison, so he can get the hot routes from the slot. I also have Odell. Heard the rumors of the new Odell, so I'm keeping Odell in the cut just in case um, the new one comes out and he can get to 91 speed. Right now, I believe my Odell is 87 speed with Sprinter, maybe 86, it says. I don't know. But my three wide receivers are 91 speed, and then on top of that, we do have um, Marcus Allen at the tight end position. So we're going to use him. Patrick Mahomes, best quarterback in the game. Have a good old line. Uh, I'm actually using secure pass blocker this game. So while you're watching this game, watch my right tackle. A lot of people in the chat were asking me who my right tackle is. It is Mitchell Schwartz. I'm using him as one of my offensive abilities. Yes, it sucks. I can't have arm bar. I can't have uh, rack him up or double me, something like that, because I am using Mitchell Schwartz. And you see here, he is 88 pass block power. A 84 pass block finesse. I also use the play fake chem. That gives my pass blocking from my offensive lineman up to, gives it a boost in pass blocking. I pass the ball. I want to get the pass blocking boost. If you're a runner, get the run blocking boost. That's how it works. Um, so I have Mitchell Schwartz, you see over here on the right side. Um, he, I have to chem him up. I have to use him as one of these superstar X factors, Mitchell Schwartz. It's super lame having a tackle as one of your X factors. But we'll see what it does this game. I tried it out yesterday, and it lets you guys know what it does. Uh, it's been pretty good for me, uh, stopping these people. I know you guys, and you'll see my defense as I go over to the defense, who I have X-Factors on defense, and I'll show you why I went with a secure pass blocker. Von Miller, Reggie White, Aaron Donald. Uh, if this isn't what you're doing on defense, you're doing something wrong. Have those three guys running the three down linemen. In my secondary, I'll have Ken Houston, Harrison Smith, Pat Pete, Mel Blunt, Ramsey Slay, Guy Derwin, Eric Berry, Shazier Wagner, you know, Mac Von Miller, Reggie White, Aaron Donald. So that's the defense. Uh, I, I got the three X Factors over here. That's what a lot of people are having now, the X Factors on the D line. That is why I put my X Factor on the O line, which is cool. And man, in the past, we haven't had to do that at all, haven't had to invest in the offensive line. And the fact that we might have to do it this year is a big deal. It's what they've been talking about for a while, uh, improving on. Using some cap. Now, the pass blocking is tough to, you know, waste that much cap on a pass blocker, waste that much cap on a player that's not going to touch the ball. But you see in the NFL, man, they do it all the time. You see the top 10 picks in draft classes. A lot of times there is offensive tackles. There's even centers sometimes in the first round, you know. And, and this is something that, that man has been – so disconnected from in real football is that the offensive line seemed to not really matter. Uh, and we'll see if it matters this game. One thing about this game you see as I'm playing Hey Dog Too Hot, this is actually Jack Oregon. If you guys are ever in the Twitch chats, uh, he's a guy that's in the Twitch chats pretty often. He's been pretty decent at the game last couple of years. Uh, so expect him to try to make a run at some of these live events and really try to make his name this year as he hits me with a deep pass. Over here to Marvin Harrison. Great job by me clicking on Harrison Smith and not giving up a touchdown. So many guys go for hit sticks, bad tackle angles, and give up a touchdown. I do not there. Get him to a first and goal from the 10. He throws an out route right there. Jay Rice kills Patrick Peterson. Uh, next play, he runs a little RPO and gets right in the end zone. So that was a quick drive right down the field. Uh, you got to learn stuff from the drive, but it's tough to learn when they score in four plays. That is not how you want to play defense. So... We'll see what my right tackle is doing right there. Just killing Reggie White or Strahan. But that's the thing. He has three stars on the defensive line. I can't stop all of them. Uh, even though the right side's held down as I throw a dot over there. To the right side looks like it's getting held down. But these, these double teams in the middle, the, the left side, are really they're really starting to get through that my pass protection. As you see the right side again, holding it down, looking for somebody. Nobody to really throw to. I'm going to get rid of the ball here. Live to fight another day. Get me to a third and three. 
Once again, that right side is holding down. Really nowhere to throw to. The left side comes through. Great defense by him. He double flatted the left side. Really had me bagged up there. Get to a fourth and six. We're going to step up, stand in the pocket strong, hit Torrey Holt. Glad he didn't get hit there. I thought that dot was wide open, but he could have got hit. Could have knocked the ball out. First down, and we see that left side getting killed. It'd be really tough to run two super pass blockers. But right now, I'm feeling like if you're not running two, as we get hollered at and get picked off. One thing, I'll tell you what, no matter how good I am at the game, I do have a tendency to when I'm getting pressure, I want to get rid of the ball. I want to press a button, try to get an incomplete pass, and right there, the ball went right to him. Throw a pick on the first drive. So this game isn't starting too great as the ball bounces off Torrey Holt's face. We'll always take that. Third down, throws an out right over here. I have Shazier in a cloud flat. He's just not getting out there. Got to pass him in a little bit more. Fourth and short, he goes. Aaron Donald in his face causes this overthrow. As you see below, pressure in the face. Aaron Donald, he caused that overthrow from Tom Brady. And Aaron Don his Aaron Donald getting right through my double team again. You see, man, my right side is pretty boxed. If I have time, we complete a dot to Odell Beckham. If I have time in the pocket, I definitely feel okay. I definitely feel like I'm going to find people open. It's about blocking these three down linemen. And that's pretty much how I'm playing defense, too. So the game's really similar as far as how we're playing defense and how we're, uh, you know, choosing to defend and attack each other's defenses. Darius Slay almost gets to that pass right there. Breaks it up, though. I see we're playing better defense now than we did in that first drive. Reggie White gets to the quarterback. Felt like he still had time there. That wasn't an instant shed. And I'm on Aaron Donald again. Sucks when I'm on Aaron Donald. Caught me on Aaron Donald way too much for me to be playing basic coverages. Um, just allowing my defensive line to work. Fourth and eight. Von Miller does what he does. That's the instant shed. That's why we put the stars on our defensive linemen. Over there, Dot Odell Beckham catching it underneath. My right side, my right tackle is really holding it down right now with a secure pass blocker as I take a hit right there. Pretty much running just to take some time off the clock. Uh, make sure he doesn't get the ball back. Mm, right there, nobody to throw to. I believe Aaron Donald got me again. So Aaron Donald's going to be close to getting his cam as I dump the ball up here to, to Saquon Barkley. Aaron Donald with two and a half sacks. That's a big deal. Uh, you never want to get those guys fully X'd out. If they get X'd out, it's going to be a long day for you. And Reggie White takes down the quarterback. I'm thinking about almost getting like that homer chemistry and the dome chemistry to uh, make my players get a little bit better <clears throat> as far as as soon as they can get their X. Um, the one thing as he throws a pass right here that Ramsey picks it off, gets to a fourth down, going to go for it, stands up in the pocket, really good. Playmakers Ertz on his fourth down. That's a huge fourth down. Followed up by this first down where he runs verticals, bang, and he hits the tight end Ertz. Great play. Gets down. Enough time to get to the field goal as time expires in half and tie the game up. Those were huge two plays to Zach Ertz. Playmaker up on one of them. And then the other one, obviously, was vertical. as a setup that people have been using for years now. Able to complete. Um, but I get the ball out of half. Got to go ahead and score here as I go up top. Odell Beckham. I talked about not really using him anymore. But this game, I don't think this game I had that full Tory Holt yet. I think I might have just got that full... Um, 90 overall, Torrey Holt. So I still was rocking Odell Beckham here as he catches a huge cover three beater. Always good to get a one-play touchdown, man. If you want to learn how to do these one-play touchdowns, check out manturf.com. All the one-play touchdowns that I have in this cluster formation is, is the Arizona playbook. So check that out. As we have my boys up there stopping the run pretty well, that's pretty much how Dollar is. If you can stop the run, you can run it all game, especially with these D linemen. Throws that up. Oh, my God. I was just going to kill Torrey Holt with Ken Houston. Get him to a fourth and inches. And we give up the little whip route over here to Torrey Holt. But Patrick Peterson puts him down. Um, we talked about the hit stick on my podcast. You guys can check that out on Tuesdays. Uh, Tuesday, 7 p.m. on Twitch. is also uploaded to YouTube. So if you're not checking out the podcast, we talked about the hit stick as he throws the corner route to Jerry Rice. We talked about the hit stick and how players like Patrick Peterson or players like Darius Slay maybe shouldn't trigger these same type of hit stick animations that Ken Houston just triggered right there. Uh, we think it's a little bit too easy as Shazier should have got that pick. I feel like I lurked that perfectly. A little bit too easy to get hit sticks this year. This play, he blocked the crib, but... Great defense covering everything. Had forced him to throw the ball away. I'm up seven points. Can't give up any type of touchdown here. Throws a beautiful pass route. Beautiful pocket there holding over there to, um, I believe that's Hollywood Brown. Next play stretch right in the end zone with Todd Gurley. Touchdown. Ties the game up 17-17.
one minute left in the third quarter, so five minutes left in the game. Can I milk this whole clock? Uh, not something that I normally do, but when you're in a tight battle, you have to play the clock. And then in the day, I have the ball, so that that's going to help me a lot as I dump it off to Marcus Allen here. Uh, Adrian Amos makes the tackle in the flat. No big gain right there. Second and nine. Will route Saquon Barkley. Runs through Ramsey. Get out of bounds. Don't want to take those extra hits. Don't want to take that chance of fumbling. It's going to take off of Mahomes. That's what you have to do. Sometimes when they're rushing three, it's oh, you got to use your quarterback as a weapon. Takes me to the fourth quarter. Dump it off here. Marcus Allen underneath gets hit stick by Denzel Ward. That's what I'm talking about. You, you guys see these corners that don't really hit that well as I laser to Marcus Allen right there. Corners that aren't big hitters laying big hit sticks. It's definitely something that I think should be fixed. I think should be toned down. As now we just want to run a little bit of clock here, but I am still snapping the ball 16 seconds. A lot of times when you're getting as much head-to-head, you're getting these ranked leaderboards that don't mean that much. You don't lock in as much as you should. Uh, but now looking back on this game, and you'll see how it ends, I do wish I played the clock a little bit smarter. I, this could be the two-minute warning, but I'm kicking a field goal. 20-17, to got to get a stop. That's pretty much how it goes. He's played some decent offense. I need Von Miller. I need Reggie White. I need my X-Factors to be X-Factors. And right there, uh, Aaron Donald was on the ground. He went through a double team, then got cut blocked. So if Aaron Donald's taking on three people, my end's got to fight. And Von Miller coming off the edge here, forces the throw away. Intentional grounding, get him to a third and 19. Good job dumping it off right here to Torrey Holt on the whip route. Getting out of bounds as well, picking up 10 yards, making this fourth down that much shorter. I send the crib, he's able to hit the wheel route on the outside to Marvin Harrison. A lot of times you throw that wheel route quick, you get a quick throw and an inaccurate pass, but he trusted it there. Lasers over the middle and Blunt doesn't get a hit. So the time is ticking, tick, 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 tick. Next play, Verts, he goes for the wheel route. Darius Slay's not having any of that. Get him to a second down. We're going to cover this corner route. And Patrick Peterson clicked on at the last minute. Aaron Donald again getting that pressure. Heavy pressure, inaccurate pass. I clicked on with Patrick Peterson. Made that pick right there. Now we can run some clock. He has two timeouts. Let's take all those timeouts. After the run, I go ahead. I'm going to go for it. And one first down ends the game. I have this corner route. Just throw it super late. And he swats it. Ken Houston gets his hands on it. Maybe could have picked that if he clicked on but did not get the pick, and I dump it off to Barkley here. Now, after two incompletions, I'm feeling like, damn, I really should have I should have ran the ball more. I'm going to punt. You could argue to go for this because you would guarantee getting yourself the ball back, but I feel like I'm playing decent defense. Von Miller owes me a scream. I owe an instant shed, uh, and, and I'm going to get a stop and get off the field. Goes to the out route to Ertz there. He's closing it on field goal range to tie the game. He only has one timeout. Uh, he blocks the crib here. He has all day right here. I'm just fighting, trying to get my user right. Tom Brady goes up top, and Darius Slay knocks it away. Big play Slay coming coming in clutch down here, down in the end. Throws this little flat route. We take Slay again. Hit stick, boom. Clock running. Has to use his last time out. One sack will end this game, and that's exactly what I don't get there. Is Gurley gets his feet, does not get his feet down. Goes to the running back. Did not get the big play right there. And then what I'm talking about, Von Miller come through with the sack. 20 seconds time is going to be ticking. He no huddles. Uh, need my D-line right here. Uh, I, oh, actually, this is a bad lurk. I tried to cover the corner route. Almost give up the cover three bomb, but Aaron Donald seals the game. X-Factors being X-Factors. That's why I pay them. They want me that game, man, and that's why I play defense like that. Really didn't blitz that much. Every once in a while, mixed in a blitz, but the way these X-Factors are playing on defense... Definitely put them on your defensive line. Please hit that like button. Please comment on where you use your X-Factors on offense and defense.